Welcome to Surface Pro 3 TechReviews.com. I'm Neil, and we're digging beneath the surface. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your signature to a Word document. Uh, this is something that I've had to do recently myself, and uh, I didn't really know how to do it. So I looked online to see what I could find, and to my surprise, there was a bunch of videos that were, uh, number one, they were kind of misleading, and number two, they weren't really all that helpful. Um, you know, a lot of stuff of what you'll see out there is people who will show you, um, they'll use something like a program like Paint and make your signature in that and then save that as a picture and insert that into your Word document. And uh, that's certainly one way of doing it. But what I'm going to show you today is much easier than that. And the best part is, is you won't have to buy any additional software. You won't have to download, usually, you won't have to download any other apps because if you have Windows 10, it's already on your computer. And, uh, and I think it's a whole lot simpler than some of the ideas going out there. So, uh, you know what? Let's just dig right in. Here we go. One thing about Word is there is no easy way to make a, to have your signature. Um, some of the tips that I saw uh, involved using paint program and writing your name in paint and cropping it and doing a whole, a whole bunch of different stuff and then in the end coming and inserting it as a picture moving it, manipulating it. And while that's one way of doing it, I think there's an easier way. And so, and of course, there's a lot of different reasons you may have to, uh, to add your signature to a document. And, uh, and this one here, this is, this is an actual sales receipt um, that I have had to do for another uh, website of mine, which is usemyframe.com. Uh, I make eyeglasses and the whole purpose of it is, uh, you know, people don't have to buy new frames every time they want new lenses. And so that's what I do in that in that business. And uh, part of that is sending a sales receipt to my customers. And uh, so I've changed all this stuff. It's all dummy data. And But down here is where I want to add my signature, right? Now, like I said, if you look at some other uh, tutorials or other videos, they'll show you about how to insert a uh, picture and that is absolutely one way of doing it and it can work very well for some people uh, however I found something that I think is a little easier and that's what I'm gonna show you so this is our document right here and I'm just gonna use this as a as an example I wanna put my I wanna sign my name right there uh, I'm working from a Surface Pro 3, so I have the uh, stylus that I can use, and that's what I want to use for here. In order to do this, the first thing you have to do is convert this to a PDF document. And the funny thing is, is that if you look up online about converting a Word document to a PDF, they'll talk about um, sending this document, uploading it through different sites, and... It's just really ridiculous. You could do this right from Word. Um, I have Word 2013, and let me show you how you do it. Go into your file, which is, this is called your backstage view. Export. Create PDF. That takes us into, um, you know, our regular uh, file uh, folder here and from here we select where we want to save it and I want to save it in here in the use my frame I'm on my uh, micro SD card and this is where I want to save it okay so and I'm gonna leave it the same name John Smith that's the uh, example for the person's name I'm using and which would be the same name as my regular Word document that would that way it makes it easier to find because your your Word document is gonna have a different letter extension at the end DOC sometimes DOCX then your PDF but this way they'll both have the same file name okay so 
this is my name. This is where I want to save it. I go ahead and I hit publish. It opens up in, uh, sometimes if you have it, if you have, um, I may have left that one little checkbox selected to go ahead and open the file. I meant to have unselected. Or maybe sometimes it might open up by default. But, and uh, what it did was it opened it up in Edge. And you can't do it in Edge. You see that if I try to use it, make this like a web note where I can go and write on it, it'll say web notes aren't available. It won't let you, right? It would have been handy to do it, but it won't. So close out of that, go into your uh, file uh, folder here, your Windows Explorer, file explorer they call it now, and navigate to your where you just saved your PDF file. Right, I put it in here, sales receipts, and here it is, John Smith dot PDF. Now right click on there and choose open with and choose reader. And this like I said at the beginning of the uh, video every uh, everything in here that I said was free. You know and this reader app is something that actually comes with Windows 10. And if it's not I believe you can get it from the Windows Store if for whatever reason you don't have it. And uh, I know that on the Windows Store, there is a, um, there's actually a really good PDF writer. Um, I've never used it, but I know it's gotten really great reviews. It sells for like, I think it's around $10, $9.99. And uh, you can get it on sale sometimes. I've seen it for a little less than 5 And um, I think on the Surface 3, it even comes free with it. But anyway... This one does come with Windows 10, and so I didn't have to buy anything uh, extra. And I didn't even have to download anything extra. And so here's my document. This is my PDF. And now I'm going to uh, I'm gonna show you the rest of what I'm going to do with a camera so you can see how I take it from here to be able to write on the screen and sign this like an actual document. Let me show you that now. So here's my document. I haven't changed anything. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. You can sign it when it's really small if you like, but more than likely you're going to want to make the screen a little bit bigger. And now go ahead. That's about how my signature is, just like that. And now I'm going to flip back to my screen so I can show you what I do from there. All right, now I'm showing you my full screen again. And here's my signature that I just put, that you just saw me write. Now the next step is to go up to the upper left-hand corner to the hamburger menu and click on App Commands and come down here and you can either save this file now with your with your signature over your uh, original file or if you want you can save as it and make this a copy so I'm gonna choose to go ahead and save it so that's going to uh, replace my file my existing file that I had without my signature with the one with my signature and that's what I want and that just keeps it simple and most people that's probably going to be what you're going to do anyway right so now I can go out of here I can close this and I can close that and I can close this was my original word document right let's go ahead and close that for now I don't need it I'm gonna go into my outlook and I'm gonna say a new email and I'm going to email it to myself and subject um, this is the signed document come down here and change the signature to use my frame and here's your sales receipt.
right? Just as an example of what you might do. Now from here, I'll go to attach a file. Navigate to the folder where I saved it. And here it is, John Smith, a PDF. And I know before, PDF files used to be kind of rare, and you have to worry about, um, you know, getting an Adobe Reader for it or, you know, all that kind of stuff. But now, PDF files are so common, it is, uh, you know, you don't have all those hindrances when you send them. So I'll go ahead and insert it. That inserted that file, and I'll go ahead and send it. All right, now we'll just wait for when I get it. And when I do, I'll go ahead and open it. Here it is. Here's my message. Here's your sales receipt. I'll come in here, the PDF, open. Now, it's saying there's no previewer installed for it, but I can still open it. Now, anytime you open something, you're going to get a warning from Outlook saying only open stuff from people you trust, okay? So, or you can save it. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. Just like, you know, if I was the person who was receiving this, and I scroll on down, and you see right there. Right? There's my signature that I put. It's very professional looking, and it was very simple and easy to do. And it didn't cost me any extra money. I didn't have to download any other apps or software. Everything that I needed to do was already on my computer. Well, that's all there is to it, to signing a Word document. I thank you for watching this. And, uh, you know, if you happen to see somebody posting comments on other people's videos who are uh, trying to find out how to do just this, kindly send them a link to this video to help them out. And uh, be sure to ask any questions you have for me. And you never know, your questions may become my next video. And uh, I do thank you again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.